I tried to remind Ryan on the weekend that Santa is watching you folks during your <laughs> forecast. So I'm not sure what happened. Uh, so that means I'm getting just a lot of coal yeah. this year. Boy. You know, wind, rain, what is this? You'll be lucky if you don't get scorpions in that stocking. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, Never mind coal. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah. It's a rainstorm on Christmas Day. Don't like it at all. Nobody does. Well, leading up to it, at least we have quiet weather and time to get out there and, uh, and get prepped for the holiday. Uh, should be good weather. This morning, though, it's a little cold, and because of that, things are refreezing. Got a few flurries coming down with this snow showers and uh, on the central highlands with this front. Behind it, the air is briefly colder, and then it turns sharply warmer with an exceptionally warm air mass and very moist and humid one, too, leading up to the big rain event here on Christmas. A bright start, still a little bit of a breeze, and again, refreezing and black ice issues. So be careful, especially around those new snow banks that are really large. There's fresh ice there, and that's the most slippery kind. Statewide sunshine midday. Temps will be okay, 30 to 35, and there won't be any wind at that point. And in the sun, I think it'll feel pretty good. I was out uh, sledding with the kids yesterday afternoon and just standing in the sun. It still has a little bit of oomph to it this time of the year. You know, next month it'll it'll have very, very little bit of impact. Uh, it's so low in the sky. Afternoon and evening, some high clouds work in, giving us some nice color at sunset. And there'll be some late evening snow showers, not going to amount to anything. It's really just a sign that the atmosphere is warming. And that happens several thousand feet in the air first. But by tomorrow afternoon, it's down around where we live, around us, and things start to warm up. And again, no problems at all weather-wise. Uh, doing the last second errands. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people out there that you'll be contending with in lines and in traffic and things like that. But, you know, the weather will cooperate. And then we start to see some showers Christmas Eve night, tomorrow night through Christmas morning. That's when those showers shift to a steadier rain. Now, it looks like the worst of it, the height of the storm, the most intense part is delayed by a few hours. Now it's coming through midday, 10 to 2 o'clock. That's when we get these downpours, these tropical heavy rain bands will be working in. This is what we call a squall line. And within it, that's when we get those very gusty winds too. That squall line will shift east during the afternoon and evening, and it's gone by the weekend, but the weekend does turn sharply colder. Highs only in the 30s and overnight lows in the teens, and we'll have a ton of puddles out there still left over from an inch or two of rain and that'll all freeze up over the weekend. I'm still most concerned with the wind. It starts ramping up tomorrow night, gusting to around 40 miles per hour. Christmas morning, the low level jet will be right in here, and that's why we'll see some gusts over 50. And then that jet shifts east during the afternoon, and that could uh, lead to some more gusts over 50 miles per hour there, and the last of them will occur in Washington County in the evening. And then things quiet down. Looks like Christmas night into the weekend. Now, rainfall is one to three inches with the highest amounts up here in the south facing slopes of the Western Maine Mountains and also over in New Hampshire, too. And this is where we're going to get all that snowpack chewed up by those warm temps. So the headwaters are going to be swelling up and there may be some minor issues on rivers. I think the biggest issue will be driving around during the middle of the day in the tropical downpours, drainage issues at intersections and around clogged storm drains. Um, and, you know, your sump pumps will probably be working overtime, too, if your basement's prone to flooding. That'll be an issue, too. But really, it's the wind. Power outages are a concern. There will be some. Hopefully, it's not a widespread event. But have a backup plan for cooking your uh, Christmas dinner, just in case. Small craft advisories till noon today. Seas 2 to 4 feet. Northwesterlies 10 to 20 knots. They'll settle this afternoon, though. Mostly sunny today, 30 to 35. Tomorrow, it's warmer with increasing clouds. We've got the rain and wind for Christmas Day. So Christmas Day is a windswept rainstorm, and it's a washout from really start to finish. Mid-30s return over the weekend, so a lot colder, but no storms this weekend. And the next storm doesn't look that impressive to me right now. Rain or snow Monday night into Tuesday, probably just a short period of it. We'll keep an eye on it, but nothing like what we're going to see here uh, on Christmas on Friday, guys. Man, crazy to think power outage is possible, I but know. not because of snow. And not exactly, right. Yeah, yeah. all right. Thanks, Todd.